I'm Big Blue Baseball head coach Kevin Graber, and today we're going to work on fielding slow rollers. Here at Andover in our program, we work an awful lot on infield technique. Uh, we feel that for a varsity infielder, uh, perhaps a uh, player who wants to play in college, for you to play the infield at that level, you need to know a number of different techniques, whether it's field balls off the backhand, on the glove side. We work a lot on slow rollers, and because uh, different players have different body types and different levels of athleticism, we try to give them a number of different techniques. First technique we're going to work on is a two-handed technique. Um, this tends to be for infielders who are perhaps on the shorter side, um, who can get down with two hands and field the ball on the run and make a throw to first base. With this technique, uh, what we do is we come at the ball on a full run and then we chop our feet at the last second and we get here. So our left foot is forward, our right foot is behind, our glove hand is out, and we field the ball off our left instep. We use this hand to work on top, and as we feel this ball, our right foot comes forward, and we drop our arm angle, and we throw sidearm. So at full speed, it would look something like this. All right, the first step for us in teaching how to make this off-balance play is we break it down into drill work. So we actually put a ball in each of our players' hands, and we stop them at the position where they're going to field it and throw from. So for these guys, it's going to be left foot in front, right foot behind, glove out in front in front of that left instep, ball in hand. So when I say go, they will field the ball, right foot will come forward, and as that right foot hits the ground, they're going to throw, and they're going to continue on to the rest of the drill. And that looks a little bit like this. All right, go ahead through, guys. And go. How about Calvin? Good job. How about Matt? Good job, Taylor. How about Ben? Good Short job. Distance. Um, the reason why I wanted to work on this camera angle is because you'll see from behind that when we throw this ball and we drop our arm angle down, the ball is going to work back toward the first baseman. So for our infielders, we teach them to drop their arm angle down, fingers behind the baseball, and when they throw, they start their throw to the right field foul pole side of the first, side of the first baseman so it works back to them because it's going to tail. If we work the ball, to the home plate side of first base, we're putting the first baseman in jeopardy because he has a runner coming from home to first and that puts him on a collision path. So I'm going to make this throw and I want you to take a look at how this ball tails back toward first base. Keep going through guys. So we tell our guys to throw the ball to the outfield side of first base. We call that the pro side. When, when our guys make throwing errors to the home plate side of first base, we call that the amateur side. We want all our guys working toward the pro side of first base. Good job, Matt. Out of boy, Matt. Great job. Hooks up. Now that we've broken this two-handed technique down by using drill work, we're going to fill these balls uh, slow roller on the run like we would in a real game. We're going to do that uh, individually in drill work just by rolling through on slow rollers, roll to us or hit to us by a teammate or by a coach. It looks a little bit like this. So as we roll through, we focus on fielding the ball inside that left instep and throwing when our right foot hits the ground. And we want these throws to go up the line toward the right field foul pole, on what we call the pro side, rather than on the home plate side of first base, where you get in trouble with the collision course with that base runner. And these guys are really good at making this play because we practice it a lot. Nice play, Calvin. So this is a good camera angle because we want to see how these throws work back toward the first baseman because we drop our arm angle down and the throw is going to tail a little bit. So we work these throw to the foul pole side of first base, not to the home plate side. If we make a throwing error here, we want to make it to the outfield side. Okay. 
So we try to give our infielders more than one technique to make this play because different guys have different body types and different levels of athleticism. That was a way we make that play with two hands. We also give our guys a way to make this play with one hands, which they run through the baseball. With that two-handed technique, they come at the ball with a full stride and then they chop their steps and then they get here. On the one-handed technique, they're just gonna run through and they're gonna field it with one hand and there's one extra step. So rather than fielding it here and throwing off your right foot like that, now we're gonna run through, I'm gonna field left foot behind right, out in front of myself, field, left foot, and then we throw off that right foot again. So it's a little bit faster of a technique, it takes a little bit longer to get, uh, get rid of the ball, but we also don't have to chop our steps to get in the right position. And it looks a little bit like this. It's the ground. We're gonna start off with drill work um, so that we learn the technique before we field it off of actual uh, ground balls. And it looks a little bit like this. Go ahead through, guys. We want to show you this angle on this drill because again we want to show you what it looks like when the throw comes out of the hand here it's going to tail back toward the first baseman it's a different technique but that remains true even with the two different techniques it looks a little bit like this go ahead through guys and watch how we work that ball to the foul pole side of first base not the home plate side good job calvin Okay, Wales, work that ball to the outfield side. Oh boy, Ben, let that ball work back to the first baseman. Use the natural tail on the ball that we get because we drop our arm angle down. This play requires you to be athletic, and sometimes that's what separates a high school infielder from a college infielder. So now that we've done the drill work, we've graduated uh, to making this play off batted balls or rolled ground balls from a coach or a teammate. We're just gonna go through that drill work right now. Good job, Matt. Nice play. Work that ball toward the outfield side. Let it run back. That away. And for infielders, this is a really fun play to make because you get a chance to be athletic. It looks kind of cool. And we have a lot of fun with this one. Good job, Haas. Good job. The key here is, so many times in baseball you're told, Field the ball with two hands. This is one time we actually encourage players to field the ball with one hand and be an athlete. Thanks for joining us uh, for this video on how we field slow rollers using our two-handed technique and our one-handed technique. We love the field play. I love getting out here with these guys. We hope this helps you in your baseball playing or in your baseball program. So now that we've demonstrated and learned this technique with some drill work, we're actually going to field slow rollers and make this play like we would in a game. It looks a little bit something like this. Come on, Jay. God dang it! He's He's behind me. Behind me. Oh, God, no, no, not Jesse! Oh my God, Marty! All right, let's try that again. <laughs> I just tore my rotator cuff seven times.